Hey, so we're going to uh, just do a r- real quick response here to response reaction. Yeah, it says Matthew uh, Vines. Matthew Vines. Yeah, Matthew Vines has been around for quite a while. I've never heard of him. Again, I'm not really looking into those sorts of things, well, except for right now, because we need to know. We always need to know what the opposing side. Yeah, what he, they're claiming. Yeah, and he he wrote a book uh, years ago called um, God and the. Um, Gay Christian, I think it was the name of it. So he's a so he's a gay man. He claims to be a pastor. He's an LGBT. I don't think he's a pastor. Oh, you, oh, he's an activist. He's an activist. Sorry, yeah, yeah. So he's not a pastor. He's an activist for LGBTQ and homosexuality for Christians. Yeah, which, and it looks like he he's uh, he has a little thing here. He's talking about um, the biblical case for LGBTQ inclusion. Comes out a seven hour video course. So this is an intro. So this is a this is like a t- uh, trailer for this uh, video course that he's doing. It looks like it's going to come out October twenty first. So this is a trailer for his coming videos on this subject: the biblical case for LGBTQ inclusion. Play it. Promo, take three, Mark. <laughs> Are you interested in learning more about the Bible and LGBTQ inclusion? No. Have you been wrestling with? No, I'm not actually. I'm going to take a hard pass on that one. So, but but you said we wanted to to understand yeah. what the, and and so we do want to know we, what we do saying, right us as Christians we always want to know what the opposing side what heretics and false teachers are are teaching so that we know how to refute it and how we can use scripture to to refute it. Also, or see how they're misusing scripture, or how right? they're mis- mis- and it's always a misuse, mistranslation, misunderstanding of scripture um, that is usually um, based off emotions and how one feels. Yeah, and and here's the that's thing: that's the is, standard. It's how I feel, yeah, and, and then it, you and then you twist and distort scripture based on your feelings. We've addressed this in our last video, but it's inevitably going to be spoken about today and, and there's a platform so that means that they're coming into contact with people there's that, a hu- exactly so nowadays like this is the hot topic is christians lgbtq christians gay christians so us as real christians need to know which what we doing. believe is a contradiction we, we wouldn't say we never identify our christianity with sinfulness right you don't yeah the, and the, again they're identifying with their sin but they're but they would say they would say, just to, to be fair to their argument, they would say, well, it's not a sin, right? They would say that it's not a sin. Okay, yes, let's go absolutely. on. Have you been wrestling with how to reconcile your love for gay, bisexual, and transgender people in your life with your love and respect for the Bible? So again, he's trying to associate this reconciliation to the Bible. Yeah, and, and you know, here's the thing is, is that makes uh, an assumption... In some sense, I think, man, I don't want to misrepresent what he's saying here, but that 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 it's a, that I don't love people that are uh, of uh, in that way. Yeah, of life. and it's and it's always like the person who doesn't agree with their lifestyle. Like we're in the wrong. We don't understand scripture, and again, we're we're unloving. Right, two thousand years and we're stupid. Interpretation has been wrong. Two thousand years, the Matthew Orthodox Vines Church has has had this stance that this is wrong, and up until what twenty years ago, like when did it become? It, it's it's you know it's 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 been recently special, evolved, especially in United Methodist Church, where you've seen this okay. into this issue. Anyway, sorry, we keep stopping it. This guy's. My name is Matthew Vines. I'm the author of the book God and the Gay Christian and the host of the complete video course on the biblical case for LGBTQ inclusion. In this in-depth course, I explore the theological debates about sexual orientation and gender identity, from the six biblical passages that refer to same-sex behavior, to broader themes in scripture about marriage, celibacy, and the roles of men and women. If you'd like to learn more about how Christians can both affirm the authority of the Bible and affirm their LGBTQ friends and loved ones, I invite you to join me. He's inviting us to join him. It kind of sounds interesting because I want to know, I want to know what he's going to say. I mean, yeah, I do too. But this is, but this is, I don't either. But this is the thing: we've looked into their arguments, and they always hit a dead end, and then it resorts to, again, emotion. You have to buy it. $30. $30. Oh, wait. Pre-order the course today to save over $30. So, so it could be more. It's very interesting. It's Sorry, folks. Reformation. You have to buy it. It's called the Reformation Project. 
and that's not what that's not what the Reformation is. <laughs> Well, That's obviously, he's using it. To, he's you know, using, yeah. He, he's reforming Christianity. Matthew Vines is the Martin Luther of the LGBTQ. Is the Reformation he's, Project. He's he's putting himself out there as that. Which is a wrong. It's a wrong title to use for what he's trying to do. So yeah, I'm I'm. Well, he's definitely reforming things. I'm probably not going to. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy this thing. But that's uh, that was just a trailer for what he's doing. What are some of the comments? Uh, this one's funny. Video was very fitting. Used the Bible merely as a prop. And now I'm sorry. That's the thing too. Um, a lot of times when you hear these um, people that that are gay and claim to be Christians, they almost uh, they almost always never have a Bible in front of them. Um, again, it's emotional, and uh, I think it's a misuse of Scripture when they try to use it to defend their uh, their arguments. Yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>